a motherfucking diva. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Alexis Rebecca. Welcome back to another vloggy, vloggy, vloggy vlog. Um, we're about to go horseback riding. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> no, it was so random. We were in Piedmont Park the other week, like for a picnic, and the people who work for this ranch, it's called Cloverland Ranch. It's like an hour away. They came up and they were having like a giveaway if you could answer a trivia question. So we answered the trivia question right, and they said, okay, you won a horse like a couple's horseback riding and i was like of course this is right up my alley <laughs> so we're having a date day we're gonna go ride some horses hang out something different i think i've only rode horses one time i rode camels and i rode horses in cabo once he needs to hurry up they said be on time or lose your spot period so we gotta hurry up why? Oh. <laughs> he told me not to get <laughs> He said not to get too close, but I was gonna go pick my horse. Yeah, it's so cool. Let me pick my babe. Just drop a Beyonce album in that <laughs> think you're a cowgirl. Cry, I guess. <laughs> Now we really enjoyed ourselves. We had a good time. It was the perfect day to do this too. It's literally 60 degrees, clear skies. The wind is blowing. Cause if you come out in the summertime, girl, when it's like 95 degrees, these horses was pooping and stuff. Can you pass my sneaker? Here, babe. Dirty up, you're going. Um, but yeah, we had the perfect day to come and do this because it wasn't too hot. Look at his shoe, yeah. You come wear something that you don't mind getting dirty. Cause the horse is definitely ran us through the mud but it was a good time it was definitely fun oh they also have atv like uh atv tracks and stuff and you can also do call of duty laser tags so they got a little thing going on out here it's cute it's really cute hey y'all it's the next few days when did i leave off i think i was um horseback riding what? but I'm a horseback ride another day. Yeah. Disrespectful, you didn't. Uh, mom and Ange knew you were on a flight. Anyway, we've got some visitors. My sisters are in town. If you can see Naya in the passenger, Andre is always hiding. But she's back there. We're all dressed up cute because we're gonna go to get some tea. It's called the Dirty Tea. It's gonna be the cutest tea party ever. We had a tea party a few years ago, actually. We haven't been since Frick. Frick? No, I'm talking about when we, when we actually had our tea party. For moms. For Mother's oh, Day. Yeah. I'm gonna insert a picture here if I can find it. So we've been doing yeah, a tea thing. We've been doing a tea thing, but um, it's a very cute black owned business here in Atlanta. And we're gonna try it out. I've heard of good reviews. So I just wanted to give y'all an update. Now I get in the camera so they can see how cute. I'll do everyone's outfit check when we get there. But everyone looks so cute. Okay, let me focus. There's a crash. I'm gonna talk about this. Weekend. You'll appreciate it later. And then hold on, let's do one. Have y'all ever seen when it's like this? Yeah, when they do those. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, wait, we're supposed to be looking at the menu, right? Well, so how does it work with the cheese? Do we each individually get one or do we pick a number? Well, we should try black cream creme brulee. Black creme brulee. All these teas to choose from. I think it's is overwhelmed because she just wants to live in the moment. But don't you know that we got content to get? <laughs> I just want to have tea, girl. Ready? Okay, one, two, three. Back to the frame. One. Wait, we gotta do another one. Yes. All right, one, one two, two, three. three. That's better. That's better. Jesus. 
pointed. I would actually drink it. Girl, and then it's a the timer just to let you know how long your tea has been steeping. Okay. It has had the opportunity to steep for a little bit, so just for your discretion, I'll just let it go. Just for a little bit. Okay. So let this go all the way down? Yes. Okay. Okay. And here. Ooh. Let's get this back so cute. Okay. So on this side, we have our macaroni. So we have a Cinnabon macaroni today, and I believe that is our macaroni. Now at the very bottom are our sandwiches. Okay. So starting on this side with our cutouts, we have our chicken salad sandwich. They do contain cranberries in them. Now on this side is our sand our smoked salmon sandwich. And then on the very back is our cucumber sandwich topped with aioli sauce. Delish. Thank you. Like any cream fresh or jazz. Yes, please. Y'all get one cucumber sandwich. No, we don't. You have one of those chicken or was it one of those sandwich? Being a vegetarian is a choice. Yeah. <laughs> it's better. That's a, that was a choice. It's Naya trying her very best to be patient for me. She did such a good job while I was getting my pictures. How cute. Hey, ladies. Thank you. Thank the most high for this afternoon we're having together. Fellowship. I'm glad that we are still with us. Amen. 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 Forgot to do a fit check until the end. No, 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 Ange no, looks no, no, so no, no, cute. No, 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 Her no, no, outfit's no. from Zara. No. Where's your bag from? Amazon. Amazon. She's are from Amy. Amazon. She looks so cute. Naya, where's your blazer from? If you're gonna do a fit check, you gotta be on it. She can't remember. No, it's from ASOS. ASOS. Oh, blazer's from ASOS. Bag is from Amazon. Shoes are Versace. They look so good. Get together. Get together. Ooh, yes, this lighting hits. Y'all look cute. I'm going down. This is from Club of London. Y'all seen it before. Bag is from Zara. Shoes are from Steve Madden. There we go. Cute and girly. Very good. So we came back from tea and we have planned a pan. Asian night, and everyone's gonna make a dish. I want it. Can I have? So everyone's making an Asian dish. I'm making the ram. I'm making coconut curry ramen. Andrea's on lychee duty. Naya is making pineapple fried rice, spring rolls, and wonton. No, no, rain, cream cheese rangoon. So we're gonna have a whole smorgasbord of Asian food because we love Asian food. Mom, do you want to say hello? My parents just pulled up. So mom is over here. Say hi. Hey girl. And dad and Vonte chatting over there. Okay. Really cut it. But Andrea, um, she got the lead she's right. She did. Her. Her. Um, yes, her. Take a break and take our stuff upstairs so we can. After I make this it. next martini, I'll move okay. that stuff. That way, once and not a moment sooner. Okay. I'm saying if once we finish the dishes, we can like either put it in a mouth. I get it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Pineapple fried rice. Well, don't tell, don't tell. Naya, you. you have to show them. Yeah, but no, look, like, once I start getting it, getting it, getting it. Anyway, she's making the pineapple. So what are you fill this up with? Your making. The ramen over here. There's a picture in there. The ramen's cooking. What time is it, y'all? 10 30. And we finally have finished dinner, y'all. We've been in the kitchen cooking it. But everything looks really good. So, this is the ramen station. Got the ramen, all the toppings for your ramen. And then the broth is on the stove. The broth is delish. I've already tasted it. And then, shut up. <laughs> and then this is the setup. We have the chopped salad with Andre. What dressing is it? It was like a homemade sesame ginger dressing with the chopped Asian salad. We've got spring rolls. 
We got some sweet chili sauce and the duck sauce and the soy sauce and the pineapple fried rice, baby. Oh yes, we did that. I think we did that. And now we ready to rub because everyone's hungry. Why have you been drinking my drink? Oh. <laughs> How would we rate Pan Asian night? I give it a solid eight. Eight out of ten. Out of 10. I was gonna give it a six, seven. Seven? I didn't have your mom, so I bet if I did, I would the give it a solid really good. seven, eight. Seven, eight. The thing was good. We didn't realize how many dishes we made. Andre's been, Don't get me Andre's been slaving away for the last 45 minutes on dishes. Girl, girl. <laughs> she'll, live. she'll live, right? Yeah, she'll live. Altogether, we had a great day. And tomorrow, we're going to climb Stone Mountain. <laughs> Keep y'all updated as to why. Oh. I said I'm proud of the life you've built for yourself. Thank you. That's so sweet. That's so good. Hey guys, I feel like I left off. We were on our Pan-Asian night. We had a good night and then the next day we woke up and went to go see the eclipse. That was the whole point of this, um, that was the whole point of this gathering. My mom a few months ago was like, I'm gonna come down to Georgia and I wanna see the eclipse and we're gonna, we're gonna climb Stone Mountain. So that's why everyone is here. So I was glad we got to climb Stone Mountain. We seen the eclipse. It looked really cool. That was my first time ever seeing an eclipse. I've never seen it. And then I got on Instagram and there was a lot of you guys in Texas. And I was jealous of y'all in Texas because y'all got the real experience. It looked so cool. It got real dark. And then this is everyone's last day here. So we decided to go to a cafe. We visit our great aunt. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, we visited some family, of course. When the family's in town, we gotta visit family. Then we just came back from this mid-ass cafe. I liked what I had. It was very good for me. In Midtown, we went to, Mo what was it called, y'all? Mo Mononoke. Mononoke. I would recommend only for the cafe portion. There's like a cafe portion and then there's a restaurant portion that sells like ramen and just Jap it's Japanese, right? Yeah. Japanese foods. My ramen was trash. Yo, I'm hot. Can you use the air <laughs> No, I'd like to keep it low while I'm talking to people because the vent be loud. You'll deal. Roll your window Anyway, down. yeah, the ramen that I made the other night was better than that ramen. And then they wouldn't give me a refund. And we had to tip them and they didn't even check on us. So the service was like not that great. But the croissants were fire. So if you're in Atlanta and you want a good, it was a strawberry cream croissant fire. Andre had a, what did you have, Andre? It was a cinnamon roll? Cinnamon cinnamon pecan roll fire and then naya if you're vegetarian they have um shiitake katsu. speak up shiitake and avocado katsu sando if you're a vegetarian with homemade sweet potato chips that were really good and she really liked that so she's the only one who really loved her food i did so i'm going to chick-fil-a <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I was like, I'm so mad. And it was expensive. I was like, this ramen is yeah, expensive. Too expensive to be not fire. If it was fire, that would be different. But it, was it wasn't even good. A $13 sandwich. A 13, that's normal for Atlanta, though. But how much was our ramen? $30? $30 ramen is annoying when it's not good. So, yeah, that's that. I'm going to kick everyone out soon. And I'm going to have my life back to my peaceful. She's going to miss us. <laughs> Andre, do you want to be on camera? No. Why well, she's drifting? Mm -hmm. Andre, you what do you want? Morning. Yeah, you're hungry. You should have ate your ramen, girl. Can't have really just full, but you're not satisfied. Okay, but don't. You're you're full. Hey, what can I get for you? Fresh fries, please. Like really hot, piping. All right, and then what's the drink? And then, oh, what does he like? Can I get an Arnold Palmer? Here, give me. And then, um, same with the fries. Just Chick Fil A and Polynesian, and then two Polynesians, please. Okay. Okay. I just put three of these just in case. That's cool, thank you so much. Need twenty one twelve. Have a blessed day, it was my pleasure. Thank you so yeah. much. I can I wonder if part of the requirement if they have to have a faith background, and I'm just saying. No, you cannot ask someone if they believe in God. No, I just wonder because like that is tell. the easiest way to get sued. I know, but I'm just saying like <laughs> because well everybody knows like yeah Chick Fil A is a Christian based uh, restaurant. Yeah, and when they tell people to have a blessed day, like I'm sure not everyone says that though. Not everyone says have a blessed day. He was the I'm only guy that I think. I mean, I've, yeah. I know I've had I've had several people do that like because you know. 
Well, mine is full of Chick Fil A's. I'm just, I was just curious. You know? uh, yeah. You can't ask someone their religious. I know. Yeah, you can't be like, are you Christian? Oh, you're not. Not getting hired. Hey, was that the uh, two spicy deluxes, fresh fries, one pepper jack, one American? Yeah. Cool, cool. I've got a diet coke thank as you. well as the uh, lemonade mix for you. Awesome, thank you. Let's give us a couple moments, of course, to uh, finish bagging that up and yeah. making those fries, of course. Okay, thank right you. <laughs> thank you. After experiencing less than great <laughs> customer service it's always great to come to chick-fil-a because you know you're gonna get you're gonna get to me thank so you sad. can i just have some ketchup please y'all need your receipt sure hope you have a great one thank you you too andre do you want something thank you andre there's one at the back of the place no, there's no okay, no. shut up <laughs> I'm just, oh my goodness, no, I don't want to. What are you guys Shut arguing up. about? Because she's, she's full, but she yes. just wants to want to eat that so much. She's full, she's, yes, she's full. Oh, you have a baby powder? Oh, that's crazy. Andre this one by where I left too. Everyone have their baby powder? No, we don't have baby powder. Oh, y'all don't even have one? No, only at the base. Oh. I should have a fucking salad. Sorry. From Jick Blay? Yeah. Your salad, your salad, your special. Yeah, we have salad at home. Yeah. We got salad at home. Yeah, that's good. It's been always nice to have family coming to town for a few days. I always say um, three or four days max with the whole family, three or four days max because it's a great feeling to have everybody here, but it's also a nice feeling to drop everybody off at the airport. <laughs> I don't think it's a bitchy thing to say. Like, you love hosting for an, a, a period of time, but it's so nice to have your space back. Anyway, if y'all keep seeing me switch my hair from like a bun to like this hair, it's because I recently found out about glueless wigs. <laughs> Girl, I've been under a rock, okay? This glueless wig life might be my new life. I love it. So don't get confused if I keep going from like a bun to this. Just know I popped it on real quick. But anyway, yeah, it took us a few days to decompress, clean up the house a little bit, um, get back into our regular routine because we was, you know, eating a little crazy. Got back in the gym. It's the weekend now. I don't really have a lot planned today. I might switch my closet out. It's, it's springtime for sure now. It's 80 degrees all next week, so I want to switch my closet out. And I actually want to make some homemade ice cream. I got on TikTok. First of all, I want the Ninja Creamy. Have y'all seen the Ninja Creamy machine where you like pop in all the ingredients and then it, the ice cream comes out looking just delicious. I actually want that, but I'm going to see if I like the taste of homemade ice cream first. Super simple. It's like three ingredients. So I'm going to go to the grocery store and I want to make that tonight. Um, other than that, we're in the house tonight. We're chilling. I just feel like vlogging for you guys. Miss Jo, I really didn't vlog a lot while they were here. So, y'all gonna be spending the next few days with me. Do you guys wanna spend the weekend with me? <laughs> Do you guys wanna spend the weekend? Teddy, what are you doing? What's up? What's up? You go outside? Outside. <laughs> outside. Outside, let's go play. <laughs> Let me take Teddy outside. He need to run a play. Teddy, bring it to me. Give it to me. Give me the ball. Teddy, give me the ball. You tired. Somebody's been playing for 30 minutes. He's tired. When that tongue starts hanging out his mouth, y'all, the boy is tired. <laughs> Come on, Teddy, go get it. No, uh-uh. I was gonna kick it for you. Good boy. Bring me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Thank you. Thank you. Go get it.
Go get it. <laughs> you need a break? A little break, sit. Good boy. Take a break. Just kidding. Move over here. Okay, good boy. Daddy, you have fun? You have fun? Let's go get some water. And that is exactly how you tire out a doggy. We have to take Teddy out and tire him out because he needs to play every single day. <laughs> he needs to play every day. He needs to run every day. Just like we go to the gym, he gotta get his 45 minutes in to the hour. Or he gonna be real rambunctious up in his bitch, okay? We don't need that. Okay, so this homemade ice cream only calls for three ingredients. Sweetened condensed milk, heavy whipping cream, and vanilla extract. I got Oreos because I wanna make it like a Oreo, well, like a cookies and cream flavor. So I called my mom earlier because my mom used to make ice cream all the time. And she was like, oh, this is the, the simple way to do it. And I was like, what are you talking about? Cause I guess there's a, there's several ways to make ice cream. You can make it with like a custard when you have to temper the milk and you have to put eggs and stuff in it. I was like, I need the simplest version because I'm trying to be successful today. You know, some of my recipes don't be successful. So I was like, I need to be the most successful. And she also had an ice cream maker. I don't have an ice cream maker. I just have a hand, what's that, a hand mixer. So I was like, I need the, I need to be successful. So I found this recipe on TikTok. Hopefully it's good. Next time, maybe I'll try the more Stop elevated recipe. Honestly, I would have tried to clip Teddy's nails. And he's, if you hear him in the background, that's what's going on right now. Vontae, I'm making homemade ice cream. Vontae. <laughs> Vontae is also a ice cream connoisseur. He loves ice cream, so we're gonna see what he thinks about this recipe when it's good and ready. But I just know this is gonna be a little bit messy with the mixer. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. really easy like I'm very excited to see how this is gonna turn out cuz ain't no way you can make ice cream with three ingredients what call for one teaspoon of vanilla extract but I don't know what the fuck just happened <laughs> I genuinely don't I that's genuinely way too much like, why can't I just? <laughs> what the fuck ever, okay? Hopefully it turns out good, I don't know. This is the consistency.
forgot to tell y'all about the ice cream. The ice cream came out really good. It's really, um, let me just show y'all. I personally just tasted it. I really just wanted to see how it was gonna come out. Like I just was wanting to make something the other day and it came out really good. Bonte had a whole bowl, he really liked it. He said, just like my mom was like, oh, it's not gonna be as creamy, but I don't know what they are talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. This is what the ice cream came out looking like, just like a regular tub of cookies and cream. It's delicious, super easy to make. And you can add whatever toppings you want. If you don't like cookies and cream, add some little cheesecake bites or make some cupcakes, break them up, and then you have like cake batter. You know, like you can get real creative with it, especially because it's super easy. I can't be eating all this ice cream, so I'm gonna leave it for Bonte. But the thing is, y'all never told me about Halo Top ice cream. Y'all never told me about Halo Top ice cream. This ice cream is 360 calories per pint. Okay, so I'm gonna be eating on this more than I'm gonna be eating on that. Like this whole freaking pint is 360 calories. I like it. I gave it to ice cream connoisseurs, my boyfriend, my sisters, and they were like, mm, it's not the same. No, it's not the same. It's not, but when I tell you it's so close, if you have like an ice cream and you just love your ice cream at the end of the night. So I have this flavor. I haven't tried this one yet. It's chocolate chip cookie dough. It's more of like a moussey. It's like really light. It's really light, but like I said, if you're craving ice cream, but you're trying to, you know, keep it under control before summer, we got two months until summer, girl, and this chocolate caramel brownie, I can vouch for because I've had this one before. But what y'all think about Halo Top and why didn't y'all ever tell me about it? That's what I wanna know. I need to put my press on, so I don't wanna I feel like a little boy. <laughs> anyway, me and Vontae are doing a sit down. What is this even gonna be like? What's a sit down, just chit chat? This is so fucking sit down, chit chat, relationship vibes, cool vibes. And I asked you guys, we're gonna be filming it on Wednesday, so I asked you guys that, like what topics you guys want us to talk about. It's a ton of topics here, and we're definitely not gonna get it done in one video, so we might push it out to two or three. Just, you know, to change up the content a little bit. So, oh, what are the, oh, video. I didn't know you could send videos and responses. I didn't know that either. I didn't know that. So we're gonna go through and, and just see what we wanna talk about. Definitely the beginning of our relationship, how we met. What? People always wanna know how you meet. How you meet. I'm just gonna put them on little note cards because I wanna be prepared. I wanna be prepared. A few of y'all asked why we broke up the first time we broke up. So we'll get into that too. Right, babe? <laughs> I, you said you're gonna be very open. Okay. Bring the conversation. Okay. Because you, um, you must have forgot. I didn't forget not a damn thing. And I'm actually glad that we can finally share it. You must have forgot. <laughs> I'm actually glad that we can finally okay. share it. How many, how many things, we should do like 10 topics? Yeah. When I, when I tell you guys, y'all were so horny in these replies. I'm talking about at least 100 replies have to do with like, how's y'all sex life? Y'all gonna have threesomes? What do y'all be, I'm like, what is wrong with y'all? They going threesome crazy. They going threesome crazy. <laughs> well, this is stuff y'all was saying. Do y'all get freaky? LOL, respectfully, y'all don't give it off on videos, kiss or something. Why would we be on video just slobbing each other down? Not do y'all file taxes together or separate. You have to be People really don't know how this shit works. <laughs> oh, you like the moving in together one. Has moving in together made your relationship stronger? What effects has it had on arguments? Do you make your man nut before he leaves the house, especially because his job is in the industry? <laughs> you like won't they even go crazy. They go crazy. Anyway, y'all, so I will Keep y'all updated when this content is gonna be posted. What is this going on back here? But yeah, I'ma keep y'all in the loop. Y'all knew that. I've been loving that album. Been loving that album. Been loving that album. Down. Since it came out, y'all. But we've been on our nature shit lately nature kick i don't know i just really like getting out and exploring and walking all of a sudden 
down for it. So we're going to, I found some place, it's called the Bamboo Forest here in Atlanta. And it's a long hike. It's like five miles round trip. We hit the gym earlier and now we can get our steps in. And it's like a nice bamboo forest. Like who knew Atlanta had a bamboo getaway? So of course I'm dragging Vontae. I don't know if we're going to take Teddy because it's a long walk. I know you're like, why are you putting makeup on to go walking? But this is a skin tint. You know you need your SPF. And I love a good skin tint when I'm just out and about doing um, errands, just on an everyday basis. Even if I'm in the house, I'm gonna wear a skin tint that has SPF. Um, this is Tower 28 skin tint. I have a few that I do like. Who had a, a really good one that I was using for years? Uh, if I think of it, I'm gonna put it in the description for you guys. But you know, if you don't wanna wear a foundation, a skin tint is the way to go. It like evens your skin. I don't know if you guys can tell, it just evens your skin. Gives you that SPF, a little glow, so you can look natural, but your skin still looks really, really, really good. You need to add a skin tint to your regimen. Not all the color. <laughs> Y'all know I hate full and clips. Like, I just did laundry and they go stay there for the next two days until I'm good and ready. Okay, so let me get my life together. Fill in my eyebrows. I don't know. It might be time to get my eyebrows re microbladed. If you guys have microblading, how long did you wait until you got it refilled in? Like the tails definitely need refilled, but I don't want. Ooh, but I don't want the body of it refilled because they're. I mean, they still. It's been years too. It's been like. How long ago has it been since I got my microblading? It's been like three when I first moved down here. Like three years ago. And it still hasn't faded the way. I don't know why. Mine hasn't really faded, faded. Like it's still. I don't know. If you have microblading, let me know how often you go and get yours refilled or like touched up. Do you get a whole fill or do you just get like a little. Can you just fill in the edge? Like fill in the edges for me. <laughs> fill in my edges, child. <laughs> Tell me your pride. I got you. I also really been loving mascara lately. I've been loving, you know, I love my little at home I um eyelash extensions. They do the job. But when I tell you I'm falling back in love with my eyelashes, like for real, for real. So this one's a really good one from Lancome. It's Monosaur Big. This one's a really good one. And also YSL, of course, this one is the YSL Lash Clash mascara. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, as I'm wasting it all over my fingers. Where was I? Oh, applying my, that's all I'm doing, just a skin tint, some mascara, blush. I'm not gonna do blush. I don't know, do you guys see the difference? My natural with the mascara and then without? The key is just finding a really good mascara just to enhance your eyes, girl. Oh! It sounds weird, but I like them to look a little bit like clumpier. Or like, I like to put like three coats on. All right, back to Beyonce. Oh, one last thing. I got some balm um, lip oils. This is from the brand The Lip Bar. If you don't want to spend a ton of money on Summer Fridays, lip stuff, Laneige, The Road, all that really popular right now in Sephora, even though they're all good products. Black owned, and she's in Target, I want to say CVS and Walgreens. They sent me a whole bunch of products to try out. And they're really pretty, they smell good. I love how they look on my lips, they're not too sticky. And they're a much better price than the um, than the other stuff out there on the market. So if you're looking into some new lip stuff, love it. Next time you're in Target, she has like a whole um, section in the makeup and beauty stuff. So, so we found it. We got a little lost at first, y'all. But we need to go all the way up. We had 13. We need to go all the way up to 26. We found it. 
Okay. Because we just walked a half mile on the other way and then we had to come back a mile. And it was all uphill, girl. I started sweating and it was like, wait, we're not even going the right way. We had to go back and regroup. Because it's really forest out here, okay? It's a little treacherous. But we're gonna find our way. We found the bamboo forest. It's really nice. Feels like I'm in Asia somewhere with the panda bears. I'm with the panda bears, bitch. <laughs> we in Georgia. <laughs> I want to see you try to go up there. I can go up there. Let's do it real quick. And we'll come back so I do want Vonta because I wanted to get a picture up here on the little tree. He was like, that's going to be too much. You need to be careful. I swear to God, it's slippery, Vonta. <gasps> see? <laughs> Your Take off I your shoes. Right shoes on. Look at my shoes at the bottom. The girl who said she did, she took her shoes off, and I'm low key this close to taking my shoes off and trying to get my ass yeah, up no, there. I'm, that's what I'm not gonna do. I ain't gonna take my shoes. This is what people be getting their floors made out of bamboo floors. We should come down and take a few pieces and do what we gotta do. A good piece of bamboo. People pay a lot of money for bamboo. Don't break either, look. It's, yep, that's that good wood. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, leave it alone then. Why you? Leave it alone. Yes. That's how people, you know, when we watching the survivors and shit. Oh, uh, when they have to make their house out of bamboo on Survivor? Or the raft out of bamboo. <laughs> Everybody else got their name engraved, so you know we engraving our names on these damn bamboo. Lex plus V. Why would you? Mm. It should be, it gotta be V plus Lex. At the top. <laughs> we gotta try to find this when we come back. Picture of three. Do y'all have that one song that just for whatever reason makes you emotional? Like, it's the most random song ever, but as soon as it comes on, I don't know why. I'm even thinking about it and I wanna cry. And I don't know why. But I feel like everyone has that song that when it plays, it just makes you emotional. Maybe it's tied to someone you know or someone you loved or like a family member that you lost. That makes more sense to just be like emotional when you hear the song. But when I tell you, and when I tell you the song, you're gonna be like, what? instantly makes me like but it's not like the song is tied to like a loved one or like i don't know why but i just love this song just the two of us by grover washington <laughs> i don't know why y'all i don't know why and if i feel like getting emotional i'll literally turn this song on to like make myself cry I swear to God. <laughs> but it's so beautiful Rainbows in my mind. Like real fucking like it makes me so It makes me like ugly cry every bitch every time. It's I can't listen to the whole song because I'll literally be in here like and Bonte's gonna come and like what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. I think that has to be my wedding song. I think it's safe to say I thought it was gonna be Beyonce dangerously in love. But I think that song has got to be played at the wedding. I don't know why I don't. I just love the song. Maybe it's just a good, feel good song. I just love it. So I say all that to say, I need to know if like, there's any song that makes you just emotional anytime you hear it. <laughs> wow. It's not like I'm sad or anything. It just makes me like happy. <laughs> but anyway. 
we ever just have like a really good day we just had a great day went to the gym we found that trail if you're in atlanta seriously go like go touch some grass go get out in nature go with your boyfriend your dog take your dog like it was really just a nice it was a nice four mile hike yeah that's that um i actually do want to continue this song and cry so i'll catch you guys tomorrow <laughs>